Hello chess friends, I'm back with the favorite section of your game. This is the move of the day. And uh, in the move of the day, we look at the most spectacular move played in a particular game. And this was a game played by the fourth world champion, Alexander Eliakin. And this was against a unknown player. It was basically a simultaneous exhibition. It was played in 1939. So Eliakin playing a simultaneous exhibition and he really crushed this guy. Whoever this guy was, his name is not available, but he really crushed him. So like always, go ahead, pause the video and try to find the move that Alexander played over here and crushed black totally. Okay, so hope you found uh, the correct move. In fact, this is a very pretty and beautiful, uh, beautiful tactical idea. You can see one of the most, uh, most advantageous thing that white has, the trump card is the pawn on d7 that you have to make use of. And how do you make use of that? You're gonna play rook to c8 putting the rook on the back rank basically this comes with a threat the threat is simply to capture the back uh the, the black rook on d8 and that will come with a checkmate so now black has to defend that there are two or three ways of defending that basically let's say queen takes pawn obvious way in this way you might think well this is not working right because because now i'm even if you capture my rook for example i'm gonna simply capture it back and there is nothing that's happening in fact black is the one who has extra pawns so alexander being a world champion is losing the game against an unknown player in fact that's not gonna happen because he had calculated a brilliant move over here queen to f8 beautiful queen sacrifice uh this is forced rook takes f8 and now rook takes on f8 that is a back rank checkmate all right so queen takes d7 is not playable what else can be done the other obvious move is obviously to capture the rook and again you might ask the question this looks virtually uh very bad because if you capture back let's say you promote to a queen he's just going to capture and everything is defended the back rank is well covered and black is the one who has two pass pawns specifically the c pawn is quite dangerous but that's not one what's going to happen in fact if uh black captures our rook here we have a beautiful deflection move we are going to play queen to e7 again the queen makes use of the long diagonal it swings into action and it puts uh a attack on the queen basically the threat is pretty simple now we would like to exchange queens and then promote so what can he do here for example queen takes queen the queen was free but then the back rank is exposed we simply capture the rook and there comes a mate all right going back there's another move that he can play over here uh let's say something like rook to g8 for example because the threat is simply uh, let me just show, show you the thread. If h6 or h5, you take the queen. And as soon as you capture back, I'm gonna, pardon me that. As soon as you capture back, I'm gonna simply capture the rook with the queen promotion. That's the thread. So here he has to actually uh, do something. If he captures a queen, we have already seen there is a back rank. And something like rook to g8 can also be played. But in this case, we have a very simple move. d8 queen, we promote the pawn. Finally, we make use of our trump card. We make use of our most powerful aspect. And this is a lost position. If rook takes queen, then takes. And that will be a made in one move. If you just capture over here, I'm going to capture back. That wins the game as well. Uh, totally winning. Uh, in fact, uh, we will be able to handle this, alone, uh, this lone pawn. And uh, we have our own past pawns over here. We can create our own past pawns. So white is totally fine. Just a second. Why can't I make arrows? Yeah, that's we go. So basically the idea is f4, f5, e6 and uh, white queen can always retreat to the c5 square and stop that pawn from, th that's the only threat we have. If we stop that, that's all under control. So that was excellent, re uh, really excellent combination by Alexander Eliakin in a position where he's uh, more or less equal obviously, but this pawns are pretty loose and it felt like black is the one who was in charge and he was defending, but it was not this uh, case because of the weak back rank. So here is the star move of the game, rook to c8, absolutely stunning move. And this actually follows up with the move queen f8, even more stunning. So what an impressive game by Alexander Eliakin. Hope you enjoyed this excellent chess game uh, played in a simultaneous exhibition. Until next time, see you guys. Bye.